A tragedy is unfolding in Lebanon. Inflation has driven the country's currency to historical lows. The crash highlights a grave economic crisis that has left half the population living below the poverty line. Fire and fury on the streets of Beirut. Lebanon is descending fast into an economic crisis that the World Bank says will likely rank among the world's worst of the last 150 years. All the people are hungry. No one has anything to eat. There's no electricity in our homes. Children need milk and no one can afford to buy it. That's why we're here. Where some streets witness protests, others host long lines of cars queuing for a share of Lebanon's insufficient supply of gasoline. Shortages are pushing up the costs of many essentials. The price of subsidized bread has been hiked five times this year alone. Citizens are also getting much less for their money because of record inflation. The Lebanese pound has been trading at an all-time high on the black market, at over 10 times its official rate against the US dollar. The crisis is largely the result of three decades of financial mismanagement by successive governments following Lebanon's civil war. But it's been made even worse by a global pandemic and the billions of dollars of damage caused by last year's deadly blast in Beirut port. An outraged Lebanese public want their government to solve the crisis fast. But with the economy on course to contract by 20% this year, the problems are far from over. DW's Basil Aridi joins us from Beirut. Uh, Basil, the reports were getting painted a very bleak picture of Lebanon. What's the situation where you are? We were talking before in the previous months about the state of free fall, the economic state in free of free fall. Now we are talking about collapse, about hard crisis. There, there will be no soft landing. According to all experts, financial economic experts in Lebanon, they're talking about hard crash the, uh, to, and total collapse. Uh, this is due uh, well, today, according to the rate, uh, financial rate, uh, the Lebanese pound against the US dollars, according to the black market rates today, it lost more than 90% of its value against the US dollars. The minimum wage now in Lebanon, according to, today, to today's rate, is 30 US dollars per month, which means $1 per day. Uh, we're talking about more than 55% of the Lebanese population on and below the poverty line. So, right. so we, can, we are talking about a very dramatic situation in Lebanon right now. Uh, um, the mean while where there are many roads are blocked by uh, by people that are asking the government to act but unfortunately there is no one is hearing the sounds of the people right now so how can lebanon pull itself out of this terrible crisis we have to talk about 30 years of first of all corruption second mismanagement and monopolism so all these uh, uh, the, all these uh, substances mixed together with a corrupted political rulers, it leads to this critical situation. Right. And a situation, hopefully, that can be solved eventually. Uh, Basil Aridi there from Beirut. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.